It's you I know, it's you I love. Glory to God. coming online please share evangelist Fuka. god bless you please begin to share to your friends begin to send us messenger do a watch party god bless you good to see you on the platform this afternoon i trust your sunday has been wonderful god bless you god bless you yes continue to share yes thank you holy spirit we thank you a lot you are good you are faithful yes sir he will never burn me when I'm in the water. He will overflow me. Oh, when I go to the fire, fire. He will never burn me when I'm in the water. He will never. Still I know, still I love, still I worship, still I know, still I love, still I Hallelujah, can do me this way, oh Kalabashem, it's you that I know, Lord, when I think about your love, <laughs> Happy Sunday, David. God bless you. Happy Sunday. Yes, you can do a wash party. Hallelujah. Go ahead. I do full care. Oh, God bless you. Go live. Yeah, you can go live. Do a wash party. I do full care. Hallelujah. Oh. Yes, for you. Yes, thank you. I can see you on the platform. Thank you. Let's just keep worshiping. Let's keep worshiping. Jesus, only you. Only you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Out <coughs> of me. Your way. Just be to me. Amazing grace you show so patiently. You, you may wait for me, just for me. Oh, Lord. Not my name. Yes, Lord. Don't my past cover my shame. Then grace you show so patiently. So patiently, you shall. So patiently, hallelujah. You waited for me, just for me. Just for me, oh, hallelujah. Where will I be if you let me down? Where will I be if you let me down? I don't know. If you let me down, I don't know where I would be if God let us down. Ah, if it wasn't in my life. You waited, you waited. Please share the video as you're on the platform. Share the video. Hallelujah. You waited. You waited, Lord. Where will I be if you let me down? I don't know if you let me down. Where will I be if you let me down? I don't know where I'll be. You waited. You waited. <laughs> Lord, you waited for me. Yes, you did. You waited for me. You waited for me. You waited for me. Woo! You waited for me. Hallelujah. You found me, Jesus. So patient at least you 
show. Mercy Abad, good to see you on the platform. How are you? Hope you're doing fine today. It's good to see you on the platform. Just let me know if you're on the platform so I can say hello. Because I'm working with about three different platforms here. <laughs> Media, where are you guys? <coughs> Pardon me. Jesus, they make me the color. Yes, sir. I can't work. You don't make me the color. It's one of my tracks. Jesus, I tweet, but most of them are my song by the grace of God. We just pardon me. I'm just gonna get a cup of water very quickly. Enjoy the praise. Enjoy the praise. Make me the color. Um, I can't walk you to make me the color. Yeah. This song you can download it on my YouTube channel, PJ Worship. This one basically says, Leave this battle for God. Leave the battle for God. Excuse me. She basically means the devil. I was born with the summer from the most high, the song I sing from the most high. God bless you, David. Thank you for downloading. God bless you. Please, let's continue to share the video. Share the video. Hey, hey, hey. Leave it for God. Yes, share it to your friends. 
the watch party if you have to. God bless you. Thank you. Leave it for God. See, I do. It's your night that fight for your blessing. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh. It's not my fault that he lost me. It's not my fault that he cares. It's not my fault that he protects. It's not my fault. Guess what? Leave it for God. Oh. Hey, yeah. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. That I'm his favorite child. Yeah. Yeah, it's not my fault. Leave it for God. It's not my fault. That I'm his favorite child. Woo! See now, listen to this. Oluwa get money. One. Abunure give picking. Two. Ezey give good health. Jesus give good life. Hey! Oluwa get money. See now. Abunure give picking. Ezey give good health. Jesus give good life. Hey! Oluwa get money. Hey! Abunure give picking. Is there a give good help? It would be nice if no messages are sent at this time so that we will not get distraction on the line. Yeah, so oh. We call you a oh. Me ni a oh. Hey, give it for God, oh. So if you are a oh. Whatever you are, I'm telling you, whatever you are, I'm telling you, leave it for God. It's not your battle, it's a lost battle. It's united fight for your blessing, oh, hallelujah. I'm just going to a time of worship, just a brief worship. This song I wrote some years ago, about 10 years ago, let your anointing follow me. My life, oh, Lord, <laughs> I need you more, more. Evangel Sylvia, good to see you on the line. Mr. Joshua, good to see you online. God bless you. Mercy, good to see you online. Thank you. God bless you. Please continue to share the video. Oh, Lord, I need you more. More and more. Somebody help me say, let you know it is for. Let your glory fill my life, oh Lord, I need you more, more and more. Let your anointing fall on me, oh Lord, let your glory fill my life. Oh Lord, I need you more. Hallelujah. More and more. Let your anointing fall on me. Oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let your glory fill my life. Oh Lord. I need you more, more and more. Thank you, Jesus. Let your mighty fall on me, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Let your glory fill my life, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. More and more, I need your power. 
I need your glory. I need your presence. Feel it's anointing. Let it fall. I need your glory. I need your presence. Feel it's anointing. Let it fall on me. I need your glory. I need your presence. Let it fall on me. Yes, let it fall on us. Hallelujah. Let's just keep worshiping Him. We give you glory, Lord. God bless you, Ifain. Thank you for coming on the platform. Pastor Juliet of Ellen Believers Outreach. We're just concluding our worship. It wasn't for God's love. I don't know where we'll all be right now. A lot of us would have been gone a long time. But His love kept us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus, there was nothing. If it wasn't for your love and your grace, I don't know where I would be right now, Jesus. I don't know where I would be. If it wasn't for your love, where would I be? If it wasn't for your grace, where would I go? If it wasn't for your love, I know God. Jesus, I don't know. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. From my heart, I love you, Lord. I love. 
love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Everything love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Somebody say I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. I love you, Lord. Say it loud, say it loud. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I love you, Lord. 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 Oh, somebody say it loud, say it loud, say I love you, I love you, Jesus, I love you, Lord, I love you, Lord, I love you, Lord, say I love you, I love you, I love you, Jesus. I'm gonna say it loud, say it loud. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Somebody say, I love you, Lord. Somebody say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Somebody say it loud, say it loud. Everybody say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Somebody say, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, Lord. Oh, somebody's grateful, say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Come and say it loud, say it loud, oh say I love you, I love you, I love you Lord, I love you Lord, I love you Lord, I love you Jesus, I love you Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your loving kindness to us. And you remain by yourself. You are the mighty man in battle. You are action that. Oh, Father, we thank you. We appreciate you this afternoon. We say thank you for the opportunity to come before your presence. Thank you for the grace given to us to come before your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We commit today into your hands. We say, Father, take all the glory, take all the praise. Be the top man, be the head man, be the leader of all that we will do today. May we not do what is not, not we have not been asked to do. May we not do anything contrary to your word today. Father, we come before your majesty. I say, Father, thank you for the ability to be used by you once again. Father, reduce everything about me that you increase in your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Elohim will bless you. We thank you. Let your name be highly exalted in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed in Jesus' name. And we all say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. This is Pastor Gillette of Elohim Believers Artwish. Good to have you on the platform. It's wonderful. We are entering a new a new week again. It's so awesome to enter a new week with the Lord. The Lord is indeed 
the master of every day. Is a master of our life, the savior of our soul. We are indeed so privileged that God is giving us another another day to breathe his hair, another day to be alive. It is will not take for granted what God has given to us. Glory be to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now I want us to go into our confession this um, afternoon. For those who don't have it, I'm going to post it on, on the screen. Or if any of the um, media can post it for me, that would be wonderful. Please post it on Pastor Gillette's site so that everybody can can um, can be a part of it. We want people to be a part of what we are doing here. It's a daily concert. It's a daily confession which you can also confess at home with your family, you know, with your family and uh, on your way to going to work and, and you know when you you need to just um, have a time with the Lord. You, you, you say this confession, hallelujah. So please, if anyone have a media, can you post for me? Naomi, I believe you should have it. Check your media, you should have it. I think you should have it. If you have it, please post it for us so that we can all um, see it here on, um, on um, the platform. God bless you. Check if you have it, post it. I appreciate it if you can. Or um, Mark, if you have it, Mark, please post it if you have it. God bless you. I think, I believe that we should... Uh, just give me a minute. I think we should all have it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. Yes, yes, yes. This is this is Elohim Believers Archish where God is doing great things. God is awesome in his own way. He's doing the mighty thing. You know, the fact that God has taken care of us is not a mistake. God is so so perfect in all his way. He's wonderful and is a calculative God. He cannot get it wrong when he consigns you. Hallelujah. So uh, can I have someone post the confession on the platform? If you have it, please post it for me. I will be really grateful if we can have it. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Naomi. Okay, now we've got the confession. Let's all read together if you are ready. Hallelujah. Um, just one minute. I think we're having too much sand on one of the platform, please. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Okay, so are we there? So you just repeat, confession of my lips. Today, Lord, I am a covenant child. Sorry, I think I've missed it somewhere. Is it, Okay, it's on the screen. You can see it is on the screen, guys. So, amen. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, daughter. Thank you so much. Okay, let me go back to it. <laughs> okay, so it says, <clears throat> Today, Lord, I'm a covenant child. I am saved by grace. I am saved by grace. I'm made in God's image and likeness. I am a winner, not a loser. God's plan for me are good, not evil. My soul will prosper. I will not die, but live to declare the works of God. I will dwell in the sacred place of the Most High God. I will stay in His presence. <clears throat> I'm in love with Jesus because He first loved me. Lord, fight my battle as I hold my peace. Arise, O Lord, let my enemies be scattered. In my weakness, you are strong. I will stay, I will stay righteous. Amen. I will stay righteous. I will stay faithful. I will serve you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I will say, I will serve you with my whole heart. My household will call you in the morning. I am above and not beneath. I am a royal priesthood. A peculiar person, a holy nation. God lost me with a jealous eye. I am special and very important. My life makes a difference in the body of Christ and community. Adonai is my father. Shalom is my brother. Nisi is my husband for those who are women. For men, my wife. So I have no reason to fail. My weak eye shall be filled with godly surprises. I'll be blessed and filled with godly surprises. Lord, I thank you for my life, the life of my family and friends in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's our confession. It's on the screen so you can copy it and let it become your daily confession. Good, good to see you, Mr. Joshua, on the platform as well. God bless you. Good afternoon. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's been sharing our video. So many of you are sharing. Thumbs up. Well done. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. I appreciate that. So that the word can hear what God has for us today. So we're going to just go before the Lord right now. We're going to pray and we're going to dive into the word of God, what God has for us today. Please get your papers, get your pens ready. Let us just get into that place where the Lord will be 
who he is and the Lord will speak to every one of us. I want you to open your mind. I want you to allow God in. I want you to allow God minister his word into your heart this afternoon. And I pray that Elohim himself will bless you. Elohim himself will come and make a difference in your life today. In Jesus mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Father, under the auspice of the Holy Spirit, I, I hide myself under you, under your cross, under your mentorship, and under your direction. I pray that I will only speak that which you've asked me to speak. Father, may flesh not take me, but may your spirit take over in the mighty name of Jesus. I strip everything about me and I ask that you increase in your glory, that your word and only your word that will change lives, that will turn things around, that will touch that person who's willing for a change today. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. Let your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. I pray amen amen okay so last week we spoke i don't know remember what we spoke about last week we spoke about a wonderful um, topic last week and the lord was speaking to us in a very wonderful way god spoke to us in very supernatural way yes last week let me just let me just give you a recap of last week what we spoke about last week we spoke about women we spoke about um strong quality and um, um, women of color, isn't it? That's what we spoke about last week. That was our topic last week. And the Holy Spirit taught us quite a lot from what we did last week. And want to bless God because God is awesome. And God is so wonderful. Um, it's, it's, it's been teaching us. I, I, learned so, I learned so much last week. I learned so much from God. Mr. Lawa, Lawani, thank you so much. Tutu Lawani, thank you for coming on the platform. I was waiting for you. I thank God you are here on the platform. God bless you. Really good. <laughs> good to always have you all on the platform. Thank you, everyone, from all the platforms. I want to appreciate everyone. I want to thank everyone that's logging in today. Those who are sharing our video. I want to thank you. Those who are um, sending messages to their friends. I want to thank you. Please continue to share the video, continue to share the video so that people will join us and we will have a, a crowd of people hearing the word of God today because you shared it. Amen. So last week we spoke about a recap. Women, we spoke about um, the, the, the strong quality and women of color. I did promise you that this week we're going to speak about men. So the message is, is balanced. So we have women and then we have men. And that's how we're going to be balancing our messages. It is important that we speak of women and speak of men at the same time because we need to work together. be on the line and they're sending me whatsapp messages please don't do that don't send whatsapp messages right now come online we're on service we are live on service right now we're in service so i want you to come and join us in service no messages thank you god bless you i love you okay i'm so sorry about that i don't know why this person cannot read through the messages that the media is sending to them Please don't do that. You are disconnecting. You are disconnecting people from the platform when you send messages to me on on WhatsApp. You are disconnecting people. Please don't send messages on WhatsApp. I'm begging you, don't send messages on WhatsApp. Hallelujah. Okay. So this week, guess what we are talking about? It's a good one as well. This week we are going to talk about um, the men with power and honor. I promised you last week that I'm going to talk about. Um, men with power and honor but over the week so many things have happened my goodness so many atrocities so many problems so many disappointments have gone through and now there's a big question who's not a pastor who's not a pastor but before we come to that let me take you to where i promised that i would take you to first this this sunday and that's to discuss about men of honor and power I want to talk about honor. Honor covers a few things, some characteristics. Before you can be honored, you must be someone who has love, respect. His whole opinion matters by trusting in peaceful, someone who can communicate to the word, understanding that people are different, understanding that you deal with people in different ways. We want to talk about understanding the, the honor that man carries as a man. We are going to take the life of three people in the scripture, um, Job, David, and Solomon. All three of them have similar characteristics that classify them as men of power and men of honor in the scripture. What made them powerful and honorable? One, they had the ability to make the right decisions for their family, for their ministry, for their community, for their nation. Two, they had a relationship with God and they heard from God and what they heard from God, they did what they heard from God. Hallelujah. Men of honor are not controlling men. 
but loving and caring men. Some people think because they, they want honor, they have to exercise their authority over you. That you are not a man of honor. You are a bully. Hallelujah. But I pray that is not the portion of any man watching me today in the mighty name of Jesus. They respect the views of their spouse. Men of honor who are married or to be married should respect the views of their spouse. Should be interested in the views of their spouse. It is not about just what you are saying because you think you carry power and honor and therefore you cannot listen to anybody. That is not what I'm talking about this afternoon. I'm talking about a man who understands that their honor comes with caring and loving and comes with the mandate of God. That's what I'm talking about. They carry the grace to function. Men of honor carry the grace to function. Now, if you're a man of honor, you carry the grace to function. The grace to function is what we need. It's what every man needs. When you carry the grace to function, you are not going to get it wrong. So for every man watching me this afternoon, I beg you to ask God for the grace to function. When you have the grace to function, there are things that you will begin to do. And then people will know, yes, this man is a man of honor. Not just for the world, for the kingdom. A man that speaks on behalf of God. A man that speaks and people will hear you and say, oh my goodness, yes, this one is sent from God. Now, this is a man of honor. A man that does not honor God should not be expected to be honored by anyone. Full stop. The criteria to become a man of honor is a man that honors God. The Bible says we sow what we do, we reap what we sow. If you cannot honor God, I beg to differ. You are not a man of honor. If you cannot respect God, you are not a man of honor. If you cannot follow the precepts and mandates of God and the commandments that God has asked us as a man to follow. Like I said to the women last week, I said women who are not submissive to God and then to their husband and to nation and to their community. Remember, submissive is not just in the home, it's everywhere. So I'm saying to the men today that if you are, want to be qualified as a man of honor, you must submit to God first. Your authority and your honor comes from God. <laughs> okay, so they don't expect a superwoman as a wife. A man of honor does not expect a superwoman for a wife, but an understanding wife. A wife that will pray them, pray with them, pray for them, pray whenever they are not around. A man that was standing the gap. A man that will say, yes. This is man, this man is honorable. We talk about the virtuous woman in Proverbs chapter 31. But guess what? What we forget to say is how does the man treat the wife? How does the man treat the wife? Why she will be known, her husband will be known in the gate, in the gate because of the way she deals with him. How does a man deal with the wife? A man of honor will deal with the wife in a very amicable way. In a way that is certain. In a way that's loving. If you are yet to be married and you're thinking to be married, hold on a minute. I will give you some criteria. Women, if you are watching, I will give you some criteria as well. How to identify a man of honor. Hey, we want to have men of honor. We don't want men who are not men of honor. They will just shamble you. They will cripple you. They will put you like a, you become a scrabble trying to be put, trying to make a, a word out of. Okay? So that's not what we're looking for. He is not selfish or self centered. A man of honor, he res respects your views. Whether you are his wife or you are his employee or you are his, his a colleague, a man of honor respects your view. A man of honor will not say, who is that person speaking? Why should I even bother listening to that person? Because they think that <coughs> what you have to say is not important. No, a man of honor does not do that. A man of honor comes to your level and says, guess what? I know, I know what, who you are. And this is what we can do to make things work together for us. So that we can come into a place of serving God together. Understanding God the same way. And also... Come bringing you to my level. A man of honor is able to go high and low, medium, high and low. A man of honor does not just stay in the comfort, comfort area where only the people who matters are the people he talks to. A man of honor walks down in the community and sees the poor and begins to help the poor. A man of honor enters a place and see that people are not doing the right thing and he corrects them. He does not join them in their error as a man of honor. His priority is his family before any. Most importantly, he must love God. Because that's the only way he can be saved. 
Now, let me talk to women. How do we honor? A man, I've given the criteria now. So you know, a man of honor. I've given, given you all the criteria. Now, how do we honor the man that is really a man of honor? Because we ought to honor them. We've got to honor them. Okay? So number one, believe in his strength. Appreciate the effort and his love. Don't take for granted that the man is not speaking so much. Don't take for granted that the man is pouring love on you. Do not take for granted. The man is not a fool. The Bible says he that keepeth his mouth is wise. And some scripture in Proverbs say has life. He doesn't have to speak so much because he understands who he is and what he carries. So now if you have a man that is a man of honor and you think you want to ride over them because they are loving you, hey, 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 think again. Think again. I said do what? Think again. If a man is keeping quiet and still loving you and you want to ride over that man, woman, think again. It's a great error. Now, he, how to honor your man? Make him feel like he is a physical covering and protection, but God over him. I, do you understand that? Let him know he's a physical protection over you, but God over him. Show concern about all that concerns him. His worries, his happiness, his troubles, his turbulence. It's not only when women are pulling that say, oh, you're not hugging me. No, you need to show the same thing. Now, it's what you give, it's what you, you give, you collect back. It's what you give, you can take. If you don't give it, well, okay. Well, don't expect it back. Okay? That's who a man of honor is. I mean, that's what you should do for a man of honor. Serve God with him, not apart. Serve God with him, not apart. You cannot say, oh, you have a husband or you have a man that you want to marry. And you say he's a man of honor and he is serving God. One God, you are serving another. No, 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 it's an error. It cannot work that way. We thank God every day because he's the one that keeps us and provides for us and he takes care of us. But there's some characteristics that we find in God that we need to display also with a man of honor that we, we as women have to give to a man of honor. Respect is very important. Yes, they say respect is reciprocal. Yes, he is indeed. But guess what? In the, in the place of honor, in the place of respect, in the place of law, respect comes easily without a struggle. Submission comes easily without a struggle. When a man does not know their place, then there's a problem. Then disrespect comes in. Then you have turbulences. Then you have discrepancies. Then there's a lot of problem. A woman becomes disrespectful when a man is not carrying their, their place as a man of honor. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. God will enable every man who is a man of honor to satisfy the breast of the wife. Hallelujah. Let the Lord give us the wisdom in the name of Jesus. Let him know when you are praying for him daily. Women, let your men know that you are praying for them. It's very important. They like it. They feel it. They are, they are excited to go out in the world and face the world. They are excited when you tell them, I'm praying for you every day. They are excited. They, are, they, can, they lift their head up and people see them at their workplace and they're wondering, why is this brother so excited? Because he knows he has a backup. He has a woman at home who's praying for him and saying, you will succeed. Where others are saying, you are not going to make it. She said, I, that man, he will succeed. My husband will succeed. That is a, a woman that understands a man of honor. Tell him the truth no matter what. Aha. Now, this is where we have a problem. This is where we have a problem right now. Now, this is a big problem right now all over the world. Where women can no longer tell their husbands the truth. Now, but listen to this. Tell them the truth with respect, though. I'm not saying that you should call your husband and say, you this, you that, after you've cussed him and said all manner of horrible things and then you think you're telling the truth. It's not going to work. Learn to put your husband where you believe you can speak to him. If it means in the bedroom time, breakfast time, afternoon time, let it be at dinner time or go out together and say, honey, you know what? Or if you're about to say, I do, or you're getting ready for marriage, learn to talk to your spouse, learn to find that the place where you can bring them to and then express yourself so that they're able to listen to you and then correct them in love. Do not carry the error of man and hide it under the carpet because you are just uh, as bad as that man. So please don't, 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 don't tell, say that I didn't tell you. If you're hiding because you think if I don't talk about my man, I will not disgrace him. I will not, do, I, nobody's asking you to disgrace him. All we're saying to you is that you bring yourself to a place where you can correct your husband with love and respect. With love and with what? Respect. Okay? That is what he needs. Be patient with his mistakes. Don't be fooled off. 
of, uh, of full of so many negativity. No, be patient with his mistake. Now, I want women who are on the platform who are looking for their husbands, and even those who are married, I want to drop these 10 things to you today. Every woman should look for qualities before you say, I do. The qualities of a humble man. And also for men who are watching, with all due respect, I want you to find yourself in some of these qualities I'm going to mention today. Now, a man who fears God, who trusts God, who has faith in God, who has the spirit of worship in him and can easily ask for forgiveness is a man of honor. He's a man who's humble. He's a man after God's heart. He's a man that understands the criteria of heaven. He's a man that understands their God. He's a man that understands that this will bring peace. If you can be patient and just understand, understand that God has given us all that pertains to life and godliness is also in your relationship. Last week I said to the women that women should be patient, women should be observant, women should understand and know that God he is God all by himself and nothing will stop him from being God. Whether you want to accept the truth or not, he still remains God. Hallelujah. Now every woman should look for these qualities before you say I do. And for those who already have said I do, now rectify. Because listen, whilst you are alive, you can make amendments. There's some of us watching right now, some of you, your marriages are shaking. Some of you are saying, do I say I do? Do I marry this person? Some of you are saying, oh, I've made a mistake, but you can correct it. You can correct it. And there's some of you, that relationship is not just supposed to be anyway. Okay, I'm not, I, I don't shy away from things like that. I'm a counselor as well. So to be a counselor means that I have to be, I cannot be biased. So some of you need to come to the point of telling yourself the truth. The truth. Okay, so let us look, let's look at, um, okay, hallelujah. So let us look at this. Let us look at this. Let us look at the qualities that you need to look for. A man that is fair. I said it before, a man that fears God, that trusts God, that loves God. A man that is fair, okay? A man that is fair, fair in every, every way, kind-hearted, hospitality, able to carry you, even when you are down, you are not feeling so good, is there to lift you up. A man that plans to win. A man that's not full of negativity. A man that plans to win. Hallelujah. One who can protect, love, and care for you. No excuses. Stop making excuses. Stop making excuses and start planning. Have a strategy in place. No matter how small that strategy is, have a listen, women, don't don't compromise. Don't compromise anymore. When I say don't compromise, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about ask God for specific things that you want. It's not about money. You can ask God you want a man that is tall, that is short, that is middle, that is fat, that is slim, that is middle big. Anyone you want, you can ask God. But what I'm talking about, I'm not talking about money. When I say don't compromise, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the things that will help you even create the money that you need. When you have a man of understanding, then guess what? You can work together with that man to see that those things that you are craving, that you long for, for in a relationship, will happen. Stop saying he will change tomorrow. If I marry now, he will change. No, men of honor like you. Like it. Love it when people tell them what will enhance them. Give them a greater honor. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 some other, other things you need to look for. You need to look for a man who likes elevation. One who is not afraid to discuss their weaknesses. Because this is where we have a problem. You cannot say you are a humble man. You are humble and no one can talk to you. People see the wrong in you. Now look at the shambles happening all over the world. Pastors fighting pastors. It is a disgrace to the kingdom of God. We're coming to that. It is a disgrace to the kingdom of God. Why? Because people are no longer humble. I can imagine sometimes how God feels. The other day I stood by my window upstairs and I was looking through the and I said, God, how do you do it? I said, Father, may I not be a part of those who you will be thinking about today that has done something wrong. Father, remove me from that list in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that God will remove you from that list in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a reproach. I will not disgrace my father. As long as the Lord leave it and he helps me, I will not disgrace him in the mighty name of Jesus. A man that will ask for forgiveness when he's wrong and not cover up is a humble man. A man that covers up is foolish. I didn't say it. Bible said it. Go and read it for yourself. 
Look for a man who is hungry for the presence of God. First Samuel chapter 13, verse 14. Our scripture today, I wanted to download some of these things. We're going to take our scripture from the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 13. The Beatitudes, we know it. So Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 13. I want you to read it because of time. Read it by yourself. Read it and study it. Read it and study it because while you are studying, the Holy Spirit will open your eyes to see more than you've ever seen before. It will open your eyes to see much that he has for you. He will teach you and you enhance your, your understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, so I want us to go quickly again to this. One who recognizes your strength. Remember I said we're looking at the characteristics well, before you say, I do, before you get anyone involved, get a man who understands you already. The man that you've told about your weakness, that will not judge you, that will not cause you, and begin to use those things you've discussed with him against you. God bless you, Minister Ruth. Thank you for that scripture. Scripture is on the screen. Okay, so one who recognizes your strengths and weaknesses and is willing to turn things around and not judging you. Glory to God. And not judging you. Now, this is what we are going to do. We are so troubled. We are perplexed in every way. But we are not going to lose our salvation. Because God, God is still working in our favor. God is still working in our favor. God bless you, Apostle Diana Tibidos. My mom is on the platform. God, glory to God. Good to see my mommy watching me on the platform. <laughs> oh, these are the gurus of the kingdom. I thank you, mommy, for coming on the platform. It's a great honor to have you on the platform. Hallelujah. Okay, so I want us to look at power. Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 4 verse 20 talks about power. The kingdom of God is not about too much talk, but it's about power. Now, the power is talking about is not power to intimidate. It's not power to frustrate. It's not power to pull down. He's talking about power, understanding the power to heal the sick, to raise up the dead and cast out demons. That's the power we're talking about. It doesn't mean submission either. He's not talking about you intimidating your spouse. That's not the power we're talking about. We're talking about the power that's full of God's love. And that love in the power causes miracles to happen. Glory to God. Now, it is very sad. That faith, which is supposed to work our power, is now becoming a disgrace to a lot of us. The grace that God has given to us is becoming a disgrace. Can you imagine? You are to carry grace, but you have not, be you have not become a disgrace. Ah, God have mercy upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. A man of honor must be humble at all times. Must be at peace. His home must be at peace. Now, let's go back to power. Submitting to God. Now, I asked a question the other day. I said, it is all good that a man is asking to be honored, to be, to be honored by the wife and to be honored by his congregation and to be honored by the community and the country and the nation at large. But what I'm asking you, a man of, a man, man of honor and man of power today, is are you humble to God? Are you humble? Are you submissive to God? Because you've got to be submissive to God for that principle to come close to you, for you to, 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 de to desire that principle, for you to request for that simple, for you to ask for uh, uh, someone to honor you. You must first honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now, it's an error to ask for honor when you cannot honor God. It's an error to ask for honor when you cannot respect God. When you cannot serve God, when you cannot show the characteristics of God, why should you be honored? Why should you be honored? We are, we are indeed, yes, God bless you, mommy. Yes, we are indeed to be submissive to one another. That's so correct. That's so correct. So you need to understand the criteria of this honor that you are looking for. I said before that Honor comes with the peace of God, comes with instruction, comes with humility, comes with meekness, comes with mercy, and all the fruits of the Spirit. Ah, it is a disgrace right now. It is a disgrace right now where we are seen. I want us to turn to one book. Let's turn to Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. I want to show you something that is happening. And I know God is not happy with us. God cannot be happy because we are disgracing the spirit of God. We are causing the Holy Spirit to grief and we must put a stop to it. Listen to what it says. Yesterday I was in, in, in a prayer conference and what we were talking about was so disheartened. A lot of us could not pray after speaking about this. He says, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, 
Listen, ye who are humble, children of God, mandated for the kingdom's work, assigned to preach the truth, ye we which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. In the spirit of what? Meekness. What does the scripture say? In Matthew, he speaks about those who are to be meekful. He did not say, come on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and start cursing yourselves. Men of God. Men who are supposed to be men of honor. Father, we pray that you will put a stop to it. Embarrass those you want to embarrass. The Bible tells us we should not judge them. I am not going to judge anybody. I'm just going to say the king of kings, I will not be counted amongst them in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you are watching, you will not be counted amongst them in the mighty name of Jesus. God will disgrace every one of them and expose them. The book of Nahum, chapter 5, verse 3, tells us that the God Lord will lift up their skirts and embarrass them and show their nakedness. Is that what else is happening? When coronavirus started, people are saying God has to be merciful. Everybody went to the book of Chronicles. If my people who are called by my name will open my face, seek my face, and return turn from their wicked way, I will heal their life. Is that not what we are quoting? Those who were quoting that same scriptures are those who are disgracing the, the kingdom of God. The, the Lord have mercy upon us. And the scripture goes to say, He says, even if they've done wrong, he said, correct them, be meekful. Consider considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. And that brings me. Why move the spur in someone's eyes? When you've got yours filled with it. Why move the spare in someone's eyes. When you've got yours filled with it. May the Lord have mercy upon us. Have you taken that plank. In your own eye. Before you're taking the plank out of somebody's eyes. Who is really ready to be humble. Who's really ready to be honored. Who's really, who's really a man of honor. You know last week we preached about women. Women of qualities. Color and honorable women. This week we're preaching about men of honor. And respect. And humble men. Who is merciful? Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7 tells us about that person who is humble. Say, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. That's mercy. And then he said, the same Matthew Beatitudes also tells us about the meek. The meek towards your brother. Verse 5 of that Matthew says, Blessed are the meek, for, for, for blessed are the, where am I? Where am I? For, for they shall inherit the earth. For they shall inherit the earth. Hallelujah. Where's the love of God gone? First Corinthians chapter 13, 13. The Bible tells us, now abides these three things, faith, hope, charity, but the biggest, the greatest of it all is charity. It's charity. The greatest is charity. First John chapter 3, verse 15 tells us, if you do not love your brother, you are what? A mother. I didn't say it. So does that mean that what is going on right now in the world, all over the world, in America, in Africa, in Europe, all over the world. Does it mean that there's no love? Yes, there's no love. Because the love of God is not, is not, has not taken over some of our, our, spirits, our spirit brain. But for those of us who are in the love of God, let us speak out. Let us speak out. Let us speak out. You might not have a thousand congregation, a hundred thousand, or fifty thousand. You might just be two of you, but the two of you, God will hear your voice. And when you speak, the Lord will manifest himself through what you have spoken. The Lord will display through what you have spoken. The book of James also tells us that if we give more grace, therefore, it says, James, James, James says, it says, God gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Hallelujah. See now, fighting, fighting, fighting everywhere. Hatred everywhere. It's not the kingdom of God. It's not the mandate of God. I pray that the Lord will help us. I pray that the Lord will help us. Where are the kingdom-minded people? Where are the kingdom-mindset people? Where are the people who walk in Galatians 6 or 7? Whosoever and whatsoever a man shall, shall, shall um, sow, that also is shall reap. Can we begin to sow good things? Can we begin to sow Galatians chapter 5? Men of God. Men of God, those who are called by God, those who are called according to the purpose of God, those who are called by the grace of God, those who are called in accordance to the, to the mandate of heaven. Men of God, can we begin? Can we start to sow good things? Can we start to sow Galatians chapter, uh, chapter, chapter 5 verse 22? Can we start to sow Galatians chapter 5 verse 22? I beg us to start sowing Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. I beg us to start entering into Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. It is, it is sad. It is sad. For those who have not given their life to Christ, it is more difficult now. It is so difficult for people to give their life to Christ. Many, many are troubled. Many are worried. 
Many are confused because some have made it so for them. But we will never be a part of those who will make those people who are supposed to come to Christ refrain from coming from, to Christ. But instead, we'll press towards the mark of the price of the high calling and push them into the presence of God and bring them into the, in the perfect peace of God and bring them into the understanding of God. Let us stop it. Let us stop fighting ourselves. Let us stop fighting ourselves. Let us bring people into the kingdom. Let us not drive people out of the kingdom. Let there be love shed among us. As I conclude, I'm going to sing this song. I want us, wherever you are, I just want you to say a minute prayer. I want you to just pray. I want all of us to put our hands together right now. Let us pray. Let us ask Elohim to have mercy upon our nation. That the peace of God that passes all understanding will come and dwell in our presence. The peace of God that passes all understanding will come and make a difference. The peace of God that passes all understanding will come and touch our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where we have done wrong, let us ask for forgiveness. This afternoon, I want to pray for a set of people before I go into the conclusion. If you are watching me today and you say, Father, I have got it wrong. I want to pray that the Lord will, will keep you. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will have mercy on you. The Lord will forgive you. The Lord will bring you into a place of understanding and change your mindset in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for every man on the platform, every woman on the platform. I pray that Elohim him will satisfy you with good understanding. He will give you wisdom. He will give you the ability to function the right way in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not see wrong and support it. You will not see light and say it is true. Your God is a God of truth. Glory be to God. And this afternoon I want to say if you want to give your life to Jesus, I just want you to stretch your hand to the screen and say Lord Jesus, come into my life this afternoon. Come and make a difference. I surrender my life to you. Ah, all things have passed away in your life. And we decree that things will become new. Say, Lord, forgive me for all my sins. Write my name in the life book of life. That I will meet you on that day. From now henceforth, that I continue to serve you. Oh, Father, I will not walk in darkness anymore. I thank you for the light. Father, give me your light. Let your light shine over my life. Let your grace shine over my life. And let your love take over my life. Everything inside of me that is not of you, remove it and replace it with your love. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. So there's a song that says, So let there be love, let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in our hearts. In your love, please sweep a nation. Help us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a flash understanding, a brotherly love. Let us Say one more time. make a way. Oh, you make a way. Oh, you, Jesus. Oh, God. You, you make a way. When my back was against the wall, and it looks as if it was all over, Jesus. You 
was stand and was standing here only because you made a way and was standing here only because you made a way hallelujah glory to God it would have been lovely to put my mom on the platform, but I'm not sure if she's ready. It's impromptu so that she can bless us. Mommy, are you able to come online? My mom is on the platform, Apostle Diana Tibido. She's on the platform. I'm excited to see her on the platform. I'm trying to see if it's possible. Yes, I can bring you online, Mommy. Are you... Can you come online, mommy? If you can, just send me a thumbs up. Then I can bring you so that you can conclude us in prayer. So good to have you on the platform. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes. Mommy's type, type to me and see if she can come online. Let me see if I can bring her online. She can just bless us. I mean, if this man bless you, you are blessed. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'll see if I can bring you online, mom. If you, have, if you are able to then. All you need to do is just accept it and it will bring you on the platform. So I'm adding. Few minutes to see if you can accept that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. I'm very sure some of you want to hear her pray. Pray for us. Yes, my mommy's alive. <laughs> Good and morning, my mother, Apostle Diana Tibido. Good it's morning. It's mo okay, it's morning in America, isn't it, mom? Yes. Wow, mommy, to see you online. <laughs> oh wow, wow, wow! She's going to, she's just going to pray for us and bless us this morning. Next few minutes before we close, she closes us today. Go ahead, mom. Okay, give me one minute. Okay. Well, we praise you this morning, Father. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to get together with my loving, sweet daughter in London from <laughs> Minnesota. Amen. <laughs> but, I thank you for your grace, and I thank you for your mercy, oh God. I thank you for moving in and through her life on a continual basis, oh God. Such a rich Amen. word, oh God. Let that word Amen. not fall upon deaf ears, but that their ears Amen. and their hearts will be open Amen. and attentive to your word this morning. Amen. I thank you and praise you that the glory of God shall be seen Amen. in the lives of those that heard the word. I thank Amen. you and I praise you that yokes will be broken, shackles will be loosed, oh God. Amen. I thank you for bringing them into a whole nother level in their lives. I thank Amen. you for your power. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for your grace in marriages and in families and those that are getting married and those that are already married, learning how to give a hundred, a hundred, no matter what the situation, learning how to forgive so that their marriage yes, can move to another level, so that their lives Amen. can move to another level. Do that yes, which is impossible with them, but not Lord, impossible with God. So we're thanking you, oh God, and I'm in agreement with the word that went forth this morning. That rich Amen. word, that anointed word, that powerful word that shall come forth with signs and wonders, oh God. Amen. In Amen. Jesus Christ. So I'm careful to give all the praise, all the, Amen. Honor, all the glory Thank you, Jesus. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mom. God bless you, Mom. Thank you so much. Oh, for thank, you the for thank you for opening it up for me to speak. That was great. <laughs> that was a blessing. Surprise, <laughs> but a blessing. <laughs> love you. Thank you so I, much. <laughs> I love you, and I love all those that are listening to you. I send my Amen. love and the grace of God to them all. 
Amen. Amen. Well, guys, I mean... We The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So go and prosper. Have a wonderful week. It is your week. Command it. Control it. It is in your hands. God is in the middle of it. Mwah. Love you all. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye darling. Bye.